it's Midnight Raven and today we are doing a Christmas haul. Now you may be wondering um, why I'm wearing this hat. Well, I'm the Midnight Raven and I wear hats all the time. Christmas is no exception. And today I am rocking the Bar Humbug hat, if you can see that. I got this many, many, many years ago from Poundland and I have kept it every year since. I must have had this four, five, six years. Um, and I wear it every year. Um, I'll just show you. It just says Bar Humbug. Just a black and white hat. People always comment on my choice of Bar Humbug. Um, my top, if you want to know, it says Wanna Pull and there's a cracker. I got this um, a couple of years ago and I can't remember where I got it from. I can't remember if it was Primark or it was, um, where did I buy it? No idea. I cannot remember. I think it was, I want to say it was Primark. This is one of all, it's just a grey short top and it just kind of goes off the sleeve if you want it to. Um, so this is what I'm rocking. I'm rocking the half like, half non like Christmas look. So getting to the haul. Today we are showing you two items from the works and the rest of the items I have are from Poundland. So we'll start with the two items from the works and then we'll do Poundland. So from the works, um, I've been getting quite a lot of stuff from the works. I have one in literally in the next town over from me. The store's been there about a year. Um, they're relatively new to the area and they're so good. I absolutely love the works. I, if you haven't seen my delivery I had, I had a delivery um, a while ago on here for Christmas and I hope to do another one as well. So the first item I got was this. I actually went to the works in Great Yarmouth. Yes, Great Yarmouth. I travelled all that way to go to the works, but not just to the works, um, my partner also went to a new Warhammer shop out there called um, Board Game, War Game um, kind of place where it says all Warhammer figures. It's really cool. If you're into Warhammer, comment down below and I will tell you where the store is in Yarmouth. So I got this. It's the Whip Works Pisces, um, basically a Zodiac candle. Uh, they're in vanilla. All the candles were the same fragrance, they were all vanilla for the Zodiacs. It's a shame they didn't do different ones for different months, that would have been really cool. Um, it comes in this little thing, but it actually has uh, your star sign on it, it says Pisces. And it's actually got the drawing of the constellation, and then at the bottom it says 19th of February to 20th of March. So this is actually for my youngest son. He loves to burn candles and I thought what better way than to get him a Zodiac candle. And it's really cool. So when this burns down, you could wash it out, keep it and keep putting um, candles in it. So that will go in his stocking. And that was only £2. So that wasn't bad. They did have all the star stones, so I might even pick myself up one. They were all in the same colour, so they were the same fragrance, the same colour box. It would have been nice to have a different fragrance candle with each star sign, but these are all in vanilla, they are all blue, so it's a shame. Um, and then the last item I got from the works was this. So this is a board game that we are going to, or a quiz game, should I say, that we are going to play. And it's the best of Christmas. Now, if you've seen the logo game that came out many years ago, um, the logo game was about brands and this one is all about Christmas. So every question in here is about Christmas. The idea is to answer questions on Christmas and fill this tree up. And when you fill your way up to the top, you win. So they have questions like, um, what is given to the festive, what name is given to the festive food in this picture? And you have to say what it is. Or they ask you questions like, what sells 600,000 in picture C every day? So there are pictures as well. So it is basically for all ages. It does say 12 and above. Um, but my son is 11 and he's played the other logo game. So this should be 
perfect fun for us to play. You can play it singly or in teams. Um, it was reduced from 13 to a tenner. So this is actually a family Christmas present. We always try and get a new game each year that we play. Last year we actually bought um, the 8 out of 10 cats game, I believe. Um, and then the year before that, I think we bought one of the fancy Monopolies. We try and get a game every year that we can play as a family. Um, because with either me or my partner working Christmas, we only kind of get like one day of the year to basically sit down and concentrate on just, you know, just family because life still goes on. Christmas Day is one of those days where life just seems to stop just for, just for 24 hours. So yeah, if you want to buy this, it has been knocked down. It is only £10 and this would be perfect for all ages. Like I said, my younger son plays this. So. so I got that and the candle. They were the only two things I found in the works because I didn't want to end up carrying stuff around. The fact that I have a work store here, I picked these up because these are like two definite things I wanted. Other stuff I saw, I kind of ummed and ahed, but then I thought if I then definitely want it, I can get it delivered to the store in um, Swatham, I can go there myself and get it, so I have many, many options. Next, we went to Poundland, and I got this zebra bag to start with, like, how cool is this? Iridescent, shiny bag, and this was a pound, because I forgot to take my carrier bags with me, I know, I I'm terrible. Um, I usually always carry a bag with me, and I didn't this time. So let's start with, um, Let's start with this item. So this is lavender massage soap. So this is a present for me. I have a really bad back. Um, and this is a massage soap. And basically, if I can show you it, it's probably taped up now in my luck. Um, but I love the scent of lavender. Um, let me see if I can get this undone. It's only for me, so it, it doesn't matter. So, um, this is a massage bath. What it is, is it looks like this, and it has all these little, little nobules, should we call them, and it looks like this. And this is a basically a massage bath. So the idea is my spine has issues, so we could just rub it up and down my spine, and it all, um, it's just, lavender fragrance and it's oh so soothing and i i don't dispute that the smell is so good uh, 100 grams there and basically you just lava it up on your back and rub it up and down and it just soothes your back and the lavender is really soothing as well it has a really calm and soothing effect so that was just a pound now i have to say the ipad the prices because poundland is no longer a pound shop. They have one, two, three, and five pound items. So saying that you bought something at Poundland doesn't mean it's a pound anymore, which is a shame. So I bought that. The next thing I bought were these Cupid and Comet cheese sticks. So this is for my cat Midnight. This will go in his stocking. Yes, he does have a stocking. He is no different to any human. He deserves to have a stocking as well. So these are little treat sticks and they're made with real cheese. This is um, from Rosewood. And it says a complimentary pet food for cats. Feed is a treat or reward. Anytime as part of a diet, balanced diet. Obviously you only feed them so many at a time. Always provide plenty of fresh water for your pet as well as food. So I've got these as an entire, literally an entire bag full of them. He will love them. They were just a pound. I always get my pets presents. Even my fish are getting a new toy for their tank this year. They're going to get a new tunnel or something. I like to give the animals a present. It's just a sign of appreciation for all they do. So then I got this Simple Pleasures Very Icicle Scented Lip Balm. This is for me. I don't know if you can see, mm. but my lap, my lips chap so much when it's cold. I don't know what it is with my skin, but I have to keep licking my lips and it drives me nuts. So I've got this to pop in my stocking and it's berry 
scented. It says smooth a small amount on your lips until even. And it's scented, so I've got that for my stocking. That was just one pound. Now, the next item I got is a jokey present for my son. Now, recently my son broke his phone case and he wanted me to get him a new case. So I said, okay, I'll get you a new case. So I got him. Da da! Look at that. He is going to hate this, but the fact that it cost me a pound, I don't care. So basically, there, there's a an in-house joke uh, that Kieran, my eldest son, does not play Fortnite. He is 17 and he claims he doesn't play Fortnite. Now, he does. Um, the cat's out of the bag, Kieran. You play Fortnite, okay? And you actually enjoy it. We've seen you with our eyes. Um, so he loves um, Fortnite. And as Fortnite has a thing with llamas, I thought I would get this. Um, and this is the iPhone 6, 7 and 8 um, phone case and earphones. So he'll get his lovely little phone case there. I don't know if they're alpacas or llamas. Um, so we'll just go with whichever. And then look at these headphones. Oh my god, are they adorable. Now this was just a pound. I believe they were like flamingos as well. And there was like a pink one. So I bought this as a joke. It does fit his phone. I have checked the size of his phone. And he is going to absolutely crucify me on Christmas Day. Because <laughs> he said to me last night, oh, did you get my phone case? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I got you a really nice one. And um, I think this is, if I had an iPhone 6, 7 or 8, I, I, would, I would have this on my phone in an instant. So that was one pound. Then to go with his llama phone case i picked up these oh, and this says just be la amazing la amazing so that is definitely looking at that that is definitely a llama mummy rules so this is a cute little tin and then inside this cute little tin we have ooh, a bag of these now these are fruit drops now, I didn't buy them because they had the fruit drops in. I bought it because of the tin. I thought the tin was really cool. It's a nice metal tin. And the llama on there is even kind of 3D. Um, these are basically fruit drops in orange, lemon, apple, and strawberry. They are basically hard-boiled sweets. But I wanted the tin so that he can keep stuff in. Um, he can keep his gym pass in there. He can keep his headphones from his lovely llama thing um and that was just a pound and obviously he'll have the, the sweets as well then for my youngest i got this anything uh you can do i can do slower now he is the king of slow um i actually bought him some sloth um a sloth onesie which you will see in a future video from asda and we are having a sloth theme this year for my youngest. He is literally like the slowest person. Like when you tell him to put his shoes on, you literally are waiting to die while he puts his shoes on. He never does anything with any amount of speed. He's all casual and, you know, go with the flow. So I got this tin and this tin contains cola bottles, apparently take a look so this has got some cola bottles in so like i said i didn't buy them for the actual sweets although the sweets are actually kind of cool i do love cola bottles um there were two designs there was the llama and the sloth but this again is just a cute tin um he can keep his bus pass in there for school he can keep whatever he likes in the tin um, so there were two different tins and I got one of each. Luckily there were a llama to go with the phone case and a sloth to go with his pyjamas. I mean, I couldn't ask for more than that. So that was one pound. Then to go with that, I got my son this. My youngest will love this. Again, it's sloth themed. I think this year it's llamas and sloths. It really does seem like a sloth year. Um, so this is the sloth stress sport. It says squash me, crush me, poke me. 
So basically, it's just a squishy stress ball. Now, my son has tendencies to get um, overworked, um, sometimes just a bit over um, stressed. Uh, he does have a lot on his plate with school and um, competing in two different go-karting leagues. So he can get stressed with his homework and everything. And I thought this would be so cool. He can sit there in his pajamas, squishing his little stress ball, eating his llama cola bottles. Um, llama cola bottles, sloth cola bottles. Um, but this was just the pound. It's just got the little cute face. I mean, how cute is that? And it's also a slate, which is even more adorable. And then we just have two items left. Next, I got some of these, and these are the Dr. Zeus Grinch candy sticks. They look like this. There are 30 in the pack, um, and it says, Beware may contain holiday cheer. So these are basically, if I can show you, little tiny candy packs. Um, I don't know how many they have in in each of the packets. I should think they've probably got, I don't know, five candy sticks in each. Um, but yeah, this should be really cool. I'm going to uh, put these in their stockings possibly. Or I might just give the bag to both of them and have them split them. But yeah, I thought these would be kind of nice. My boy does like candy sticks. Um, so. I'm sure these are just like plain ones. They're like the plain chalky ones that you get. Yeah, got a bag of them. One pound. And then the last item I picked up were these Christmas buns. Take a gawp at my buns. So we have nine Christmas buns from the Taste Bake Company. These were just a pound. They're basically just little buns with some icing on the top and some sprinkles thrown on. These will probably get eaten before Christmas and I will buy another set nearer Christmas. Um, I bought these just to have in the run up to Christmas and then I will probably buy another set. But these are a pound. They are literally 99% sugar and oh look so good. My buns just look so good. So I got them and that was it. So I got the buns. Some candy sticks, a stress ball, we've got some fruit drops and some cola bottles. I love these tins. My boys are literally going to die when they see them. The jokey present for my son. If you saw the jokey present for my youngest, then you have watched my Morrison's haul. Um, and you've watched all my other unbaggings. You will know the jokey present for my other son. Um, you'll have to try and watch my hauls to find that out. But they each have a joke present, um, and it's themed to something they wanted. My lip balm, my cat is going to love these. He's sitting right over there. Luckily, he can't smell them, or he'd be tearing me up right now. The cheese sticks, and then we have the lavender massage. So there were can't remember if there were different fragrances of this. I think it was just lavender. But if there's another one, I might get another one. And then, obviously, at the start of the video, I got the Zodiac candle and the game from the works. So that was everything I got from Poundland and the works. I do have more videos coming your way. I have poundshop.com coming, which isn't Poundland, but it is kind of similar. I have a haul from Boots coming, which I am picking up um, tomorrow, I believe. And then I have a haul from Asda, which is just some socks and a onesie. But if you want to see that, I, I will show you that as well. I'm now placing an order again to poundshop.com. You're going to see this, which will be the next upload. Um, so if you haven't seen Poundshop 1 and you're watching this, there will be two, hopefully. I am sitting here right now and um, trying to order something. So if you want to like and subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up. If you want to comment down below where you do your Christmas shopping, do you do it online, do you do it in store, what's your favorite store to go to Christmas? Do you love me and do you love a bargain at Christmas and you shop at all the bargain stores? It doesn't mean that you don't appreciate the person that you're giving the present to, but sometimes it can be a little tight at Christmas and even getting the tiniest little present, even if it came out of Poundland, means that somebody thought of you. 
So if you want to like and subscribe, big thumbs up, click that notification bell because I do load videos three times a week. And I'll see you very soon for another Christmas unboxing. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.